the vacation Bible school this past week, we did something really we've never done before. We've taken all these communities that we've worked with and said we're going to try our very best to emphasize what we can do in one community. And so the Bible school this past week was for the Powell community. We had about 100 workers out there, 223 children of VBS, eight saved. And, but we had, and that's wonderful, isn't it? And uh, we had 49 new families that were introduced to our ministry through working with that Bible school. Now, that's, that's what we're after, trying to reach people with the gospel, see it all open up, open up for the glory of God. And that's what I'm after, and I think that's what our people are after. And uh, these folks had the opportunity to work in the Bible school, and I want them to come and share just a word, whatever's on their heart. This is just two of the many people, two of the families of many people who worked with us this past week. And so uh, would you like to begin? Good, very good. Come ahead, if you would, please. That's great. And then we'll have the other folks come right along. And it might be helpful if you give your names. I know who you are, but there may be some folks who don't. Thank you. Well, I'm Nate Noggle, and this is my wife, Mary Elizabeth. And uh, we've been members here at Temple Baptist Church for five and a half years. And uh, we have five sons, uh, uh, ranging from nine years old to one year old. Um, but uh, when I think back on this last week in BBS, um, you know, the one thing that kind of comes to mind is uh, Mary uh, Stringer and uh, just the testimony that she was able to share with the young people there. Um, I had the opportunity to sit in several of the night sessions with her and, uh, and just to hear her talking about the mission field with the, uh, sharing uh, some of her experiences. And uh, I tell you, I think, uh, I think the adults had just as much fun as the kids did. Uh, in one particular situation, she uh, introduced uh, these specialized worms, these uh, grub worms. And uh, I was sitting toward the back, and all the children, you know, they were, she said, uh, how many of you would like to taste a, a, a grub worm? And of course, you know, you had several of them raising their hands. And she said, well, that's great, because I brought some. <laughs> and uh, so she went to getting out these grub worms. And you know, all the kids are standing on their tippy toes trying to see these grub worms. And when I looked to my right and left, I noticed all the adults were doing the same thing, you know. <laughs> we were having a great time. But uh, when I think about uh, Mary Stringer, I, I think this is a woman that years ago, ago could have said, uh, you know, I, I've done my work for God. And now I'm going to sit back and let someone else take over. And uh, she's made that decision that she's going to continue to allow God to use her. And I just really appreciate that, um, that she is uh, continuing to uh, take God's heart, which is a missionary heart, and to share it with young people, with young, young children. And uh, I just thank uh, the Lord for the opportunity that my sons were able to, um, to hear that and to... Uh, and to just benefit from being there with her. That's the one thing that really uh, comes to mind when I think about BBS last, last week. Well, I was able to help with the second grade with Mrs. Derringer and Amanda Brock and Christy Ellison. We had a really, really good time, and we did have as much fun as the children. Um, there was a good mix in our grade of church families and community children, and um, I, I enjoyed so many things about it. I loved that it was at the camp because it's such a beautiful place and all the children were able to benefit from it and the community children were able to see it. And we had one little girl said, this is my very first time to ever be here. You know, even, even I think there may have been a, one of the church children that it was their first time to be there on the property. But anyway, the thing that stood out to me that I was so impressed with, and I've talked to Ms. Washington about this and... Um, Miss Snow and Michelle Rice, who did an outstanding job with the grades that we were able to work with, is that it was so simple. And I know that's not the word that they would use to describe it because they put a lot of hours and a lot of planning into the VBS. But when I think about the Bible schools that I've been able to either be a part of or observe, even some of them from a distance, uh, listening to other people talk about them, um, they get very complicated in the things that aren't really the focus of the Bible school. And um, now our Bible school was very well decorated. It was very well orchestrated. It was very entertaining, but it was very simple. 
We had a simple um, order to the way that we went about our different activities. And we had very simple snacks. We had, um, it wasn't a whole lot of emphasis put on the decoration and we didn't even have a big expensive theme. It was the adventure of fate, so it was an exciting theme. But, um, but the, the little lessons that we had each night were very far from simple. And it was, it's neat because the Bible schools that I've seen that have put a lot of emphasis in having a theme snack and very expensive decorations, very expensive themes, um, they tend to get like a little bit watered down on the lesson, a little bit watered down on the um, Bible memory, watered down on the quality of the Christ honoring music. And our Bible school was just the reverse of that. It, it didn't put quite as much emphasis on these other things and great lessons on faith from Bible characters. The children were absolutely enraptured with it. They loved every bit of it. My children did and um, the children in the grade that I was able to work in. And, um, and I just really loved that. And I thought that was something that made this Bible school stand out in my mind. And um, I, when I thought about it, I thought, you know, I have in my home the things that were necessary to put on a Bible school like that for this huge community. So it would be an encouragement for other churches and, um, and for our church to stick with just keeping it simple. And um, if you didn't come and help or you didn't come and observe, try to come if we get to do this again next year. And if you can't be out in the heat, just say, I need to be inside. But you want to be a part of it because it's a real blessing to all of us. So. Amen.